Welcome to take two of my permadev series for No Man's Sky Beyond. And at the moment I'm stood on a small trading station which we're going to be doing, spending a little bit of time around or focused on it is probably a better description because we're still on the starter planet. Just to show you here, it's this one here. And as Stafu pointed out that I, I've got an opportunity here to get the final two species, although they're both rare so they might be a bit of a challenge. And that will give me a bit of a leg up with nanites. You can see I can get another 250 nanites by completing that. We've also got the some minerals and other items here, which I can upload. So we'll just do that. We'll just upload these. I mean, I'm not. We don't get that much for it, but it's going to be useful. And and, and we can, well, I won't bother with the minerals. Let's see. So we've got another 20, 21 nanites for uploading this. And with, but, with ever, but however, before I get into the actual gameplay, I just want to talk about one thing. I've, I've kind of reflected a bit more on how I managed to get myself killed. And I think it was due to overconfidence because before I was actually doing the preparation gameplay where I actually did get myself killed, uh, the, a few hours before I was playing my survival game mainly just to relax and chill out because I had some spare time and I think that's where the overconfidence where the mistake came from because what actually you could probably put down to is that because I've, I've been playing the survival game I felt a bit more realistic about killing that sentinel which started the whole chain which led to me to getting killed I, so I had this thought in my mind I could take that one sentinel run away and get it and what I should have done is basically legged it as soon as the sentinel started getting hostile and not aggravated them even more so that I, I mean in some ways I actually provoked the first attack because I got the warning that the sentinels were investigating and I just kind of ignored it and carried on and then the first sentinel attacked and I thought well I'll destroy that sentinel and run back to the ship and of course I was a bit too far away from the ship and then the whole chain reaction started and before I knew it I was in trouble and there wasn't much else I could do about it anyway I'm not going to talk any more about that. That's it. That's my last statement. I'm just going to get in here before I kill myself again. <laughs> no, no, I thought I'd got everything in here. The okay, so first thing we're going to do is just going to sell off some stuff here. So, and condensed carbon. I want to keep that. Selenium. And we've got some album pearls. Hopefully we'll be seeing a few more of those. Kind of tempted to sell off the thesium. Because what I want to do is spend a bit of time around this uh, uh, trading station simply because of this weapon here. You can see if I do a comparison, it's a B-class multi-tool. I mean, in some ways I wouldn't mind to get better, but um, what I've noticed is if I can get to 364,000 units, um, I could get the mining beam and the bolt caster established, plus the extra slots, plus it's going to get me, give me a bit more scanner range and potential damage. So in some ways I wouldn't mind staying on the planet until I could get this but at the end of the day if I can't get it I can't get it. And the other thing I also want to do if we come over here is we talk to this guy. One thing I do want, I've got the nanites, I've definitely got the nanites for this is I want this uh, advanced mining laser uh, template so we've got more mining options. I'm going to get that and then what I can do is get the wiring looms here as well. But what I don't really want to do at the moment is put the advanced mining laser onto here. And and just to show you also here, I mean, I can't really put the bolt caster on because I can't get the chromic metal because I don't have a terrain manipulator or because I haven't reached that stage in the, in the playthrough. But what I do want to do is just spend a bit of time around here and see what we can do. So we've got a mission. We're now a trader. We've got 138,000. So what I'm going to be look, wandering around here is just trying to see. I mean, we've got some solar vine there. Got some damaged machinery. We could go and check out the damaged machinery. So, I mean, what I would like is Albion pearls or something. Stuff that we can sell off. And this is why I want to go up in this direction. I'm just going to throw out a scan. Because there's a chance we may be able to find some more Albion Pearls there. Got very technology, can't do anything with that. 
There's something over there. An ancient data structure. 220. We're just going to put this in here. Oh, another thing I do want to do. Oh, it's a bit late now. We'll, we'll go to the ancient data structure. And this is where I probably get bounced a little bit. See, we've got some vortex cubes here. we got some more goodies here. Some dihydrogen. I'm sure the game scales to... Oh, thank you. So if we can get these... I mean, these could just be... Uh, what we call it? So, well, wherever they are. There's some sodium there. And... Um, yeah, navigation data. Uh, I was hoping for a bit more than that. But we can always sell off it. Oh, oh, run, 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 run. I'm, I'm starting to wonder whether Hello Games have boosted the sensitivity for when you play permadeath. Because the Sentinels do seem to get aggravated very quickly. The things which I'm pretty sure in the past we um, you could do and, and they didn't react but they seem to react very quickly now yeah I know the screen's going very bloody ready but we'll be okay we can get into here I mean all I did was pick up some navigation data and then they got very stroppy with me So let's just let that build back up again. I think that's high enough. And just have a look around. Anything else here? Damage machinery. Right. One thing I am going to do is get up over this way. Let's see if we can see if we can find some more humming eggs. Now somebody did post a comment about the there we are. Let's scan that. Make a bit more cash that way. I think they said that if you refine Maribulb, you can actually get sodium. For some reason it's very dark. Ah, there we are. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm just going to grab these. So we're going to do a bit of cave exploring. I know it's going to be a little bit of a slow process getting to, to do it. Um, anything else down here? Nope. Alright, dust and phosphorus. We've got cobalt and salt. I think this... Actually, I thought I had some salt. Do I have salt? Yeah, two. Okay. I mean, we could sell off a little bit of cobalt as well. Um, actually, that's that might be an option. I mean, it's not going to be particularly that exciting, but if I can pick up quite a lot of cobalt as well, we might better make some cash that way as well. I'm just going to. Oops. Uh, I've got disorientated. Anyway. Yep, life support 50%, but we've got a little bit more cobalt. Any more caves around here? Are those caves there. Yeah, thank you. A little bit of gold as well. I don't know where that. Not too sure where that came from, but right. We get into here. There's some hazardous flora in the roof. Be a bit careful. Kill those off as well. 
sorry everything's a little bit in the dark. For some reason this planet seems to light the dark. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too deep into the, the cave here. Pick up a bit more co cobalt. And of course, being in the cave, you don't attract so much attention on the sentinels, which is useful. Okay, well, I'm not going to go any further that way. So let's just go this way. Yeah. Obviously, the torch is not particularly that bright. Let's see if there's anything down this way. Um, there we are. Some more Albion pearls here. Let me grab those. And that one. some more that way one well, I can see you so I'm just gonna grab that this is another three This way. And of course, I've gone right round in the circle. <laughs> oh well, never mind. That's the way it goes. That's organic rock. And uh, grab a bit of cobalt. Them any more? That one says it is skip up. See if there's see if there's anything in this one. Oops, there's hazardous plants there. No, nope, this is just a. I've already been here. I've walked around behind the background so. Gonna, looks like I've also filled up the inventory as well, so we better go and solve some stuff. Yep, life support at 50%. Now, one thing I do want to do before we leave, and this is something that Snafu keeps saying to me, that is that if I go into here, uh, put some carbon in there. And if I put the sodium in there, we can turn this into sodium nitrate, which means we can carry more because sodium nitrate is more efficient than sodium. And let's get back into here and let's have a little bit of a sell off. Okay, some items. We've got sodium nitrate. Theseum isn't worth that much. Maribold, we can turn that. We've got another 8,000 for the gold and 81,000 for that. Where's the, where's the salt? Eight thousand for the salt. So if I can, I mean, I could literally make the money by mining out the the salt and the. You know. I mean, I've, just what I could have done is turned it into chlorine. But that's at thirty-eight percent. Yes, thank you. And going to I need to keep an eye on the oxygen. I can't actually remember if, if I actually claimed the base as well, so uh, let me grab that. Yep, looks like I've already claimed the base. So. Oh. Yep, on the 29th, and it's now the 1st of November, so I'm just going to let this. This we've now made 229,000, so. 
So just to show you the uh, milestones, we were back to there. So we got one for setting out, and we got three for units accumulated. I mean, how much set? have I got any extra sodium? Yes, I have. Kind of half temp. Right, it's nearly finished now. So what I'm going to do is just wait for this to finish. And then what we're going to do is take off and find a new site to explore. And then hopefully we'll make a bit more cash to get that multi-tool. And possibly even a bit more cash so that we can get the wiring looms so that I can put in the advanced mining beam. There we are. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a chance here. I'm going to leave this here. Because my... I've, so that we can come back for that later on as well. I'm just going to get back into the ship. Line brick two, and just going to save. And I'm just going to take off. And I'm just going to let that one have a, a chance at landing there. I mean, we don't have. I mean, we could have picked up some. Uh, I'm not sure if I could have picked up the selenium because that's your curiosity. I mean, can I pick up this selenium? I mean, I've got the takeoff capability. I can't remember if the selenium needs a hazmat glove. In some ways, a little bit of deja vu. Because this is exactly what I was doing last time. Uh, no, we need we need the glove. Okay, thank you. Well, let's better see if we can. Oops. Ah. Uh, they just seem to fire so quickly. I mean, I literally just. Right, we need to advance mining laser for that. Anything around here that's more interested in creatures. Well, we can take the rock. Uh, give us an extra 200. The creatures, creatures. I mean, there's lots of potential burning sources if I had the equipment. If I that's the way it goes. We're, we'll be okay. See if we can get the damaged machinery. Uh, no, we don't have Pugnium, so. Very technology modules. Yep, thank you. Well, that was a bit of a bust, but that's the way it goes. So I do have the ship fuel here. Oh, there's the salt. I wonder I can't sell it. It was in the wrong place. And we got chlorine. I mean, we could turn the salt into chlorine. We might make a bit more cash that way. my unique marker gone then. Right, we've got something here. Oh, great. <laughs> That means I could blast the doors open, but what we're going to do is just get up here and see if we can find some more Albion pearls. We know our place. There we are. There's some humming sacks over there. So we're. Uh, so we're just going to get up to here. Game. 
grab you. Grab you. Apologies that this isn't particularly that exciting. But, oops. I'm just going to grab this. And. There's some more down here. Yes, well, wow. uh, this should help considerably. I'm just going to grab that. And. And grab this. Grab this. Anything else down this way? Nope, not seeing it. And got a little bit of an entrance there. I'll just grab this cobalt and salt. And I think we'll just go out this way. Right, some more down there. Not just one. I'll we'll take it. Question is, do I want to take a chance on taking out that base? Now I can do it from the air, as a couple of you pointed out. <laughs> Uh, problem's going to be the response of the sentinels to what I actually do. That's going to be the big problem. Gotta keep an eye on the oxygen. Okay, let's, let's go for it. I've got a couple of creatures there. Let's see if we've got any new creatures around as well. Oh, okay. Got a photon cannon. Problem is, this isn't the best ship to do this type of maneuver in because it doesn't fly very well. And I've got to find the door. It must be from this direction. There it is. To upset the local sentinels, they're searching for me. <laughs> right. So we now blow the door open. And we're just gonna wait for them to chill out and calm down. Question is, have they chilled out? There's some nice caves over there. Caves. Can't even see them now. See how lucky I'm going to be. Automatic process has scrambled the output of the terminal. I can make out a few words. The rest is lost in static. Yep, and we can't see any words. So this is going to have to be a straight guess. Um, well, you, this could lead me to the overseer's workflow, bringing the facility back online. I'll go for guess. Work, workflow is restored. The system comes back online. And we've got hazmat gloves. Yes. That is a key piece of tech. That is going to be really worth it. So we've got that. 
um, nothing else. Yeah, that was definitely worth it, getting the hazmat gloves. Now, what I want to do is go up in this direction. And actually, I just want to... This is completely full up. Okay. So... I want to get a quick look up here to see if there's any... Are there any humming eggs up here? No. And I can hear sensible. Let's just get down into here, see if there's anything down in this direction. Nope. Okay. There's the creatures. Uh, we'll just kill the plant for the oxygen. And we are Drifter. from me. So we're back to here. And we need to do a little bit of unloading. And it's going to shoot back into here. And, and what we're going to do is sell off some more stuff. Sell off the inventory. Condense carbon, fecium. Um, the 30, 55 chlorine is worth more so if I sell the chlorine of course we're gonna sell the Albion pearls that's give me four hundred and twenty six thousand so let's check make sure okay um, so we can buy this now I think we're gonna go for it I can't do that so we're gonna accept that So we've now got a multi-tool with a bolt caster and a mining beam and a few more slots for upgrades. Although we've only got the one upgrade which is this and to do that we need a hermetic seal carbon and wiring looms. So how much is the wiring looms going to cost me? I'm just going to get in here. Um, components. So I need 118,000 now for two wiring looms, okay. Right, let's get back to here. And what I'm going to do is put the salts in here. That's going to make me 35 chlorine. Kind of a bit inclined now just to, uh, well, I need to line up, is kind of grind this a little bit using the um the what's it uh, cobalt and salt so what i'm going to do is just get back into here now sorry this is going to be a little bit grindy oh these reset i can't be that lucky i'm i was absolutely sure Yeah, it's, this is one of the quirks of the game is if you take off and come back, it resets them so they appear, but they, it won't let you pick them up. Because I suppose it assumes that you're never going to come back. <laughs> That's ferrite dust. I want cobalt. Come on. Because um, I could pick up a little bit. Okay, ferrite. Wow, look at that. We've got a bit more oomph on the mining beam. And of course, I don't actually have any ammunition, do I? So, I make ammunition. 
Uh, we need ferrite dust. Okay. I mean, there's no point having a bolt uh, a bolt caster if you haven't got ammunition. So hopefully, right. And you can see the ridiculous amounts. Look, that sh small amount of ferrite, and you can get 1,200. I mean, that's absolutely crazy. Right, let's just get up amongst the caves up here and we can get up in here. We have to pay attention to the survival and we're just going to, Yeah, thank you. And what we can do is use the old trick of just staying in platinum and salt, yes, we're platinum and Platinum will give me a bit more money as well, so what I'm just going to do is mine out all this stuff here. And cobalt and salt. And we've got another couple of humming eggs here. I'm pretty sure I've already got these, yes. Um, cobalt and salt. And, um, basically, what I'm going to do now is just stand here and try and not upset the local sentinels but at the same time we're going to well effectively just gather as much of this until my inventory is full well it seems that the cave has run out of resources before my inventory is filled up so what I'm going to do is just pick up a little bit more there and a little bit more by the entrance here and then we're just going to go back and sell off uh, what I've got. So just to give you a bit of an update, you can see I've got, well, nearly a thousand cobalt, three geodes, some platinum, and 127 salt. So hopefully that might give me enough cash to do what I want to do. But if not, well, that's the way it goes. So let's get down to here. And just get back to here. Yep, yeah, thank you, game. So we're just going to sell items. Got these geodes. I could crack them open, but the moment well, we got the platinum. I'm going to actually sell the geodes rather than uh, investigate them. So that's seventy-seven thousand. Um, I think we're going to sell just over 500 cobalt as well you can see that should give me because I, can, I mean cobalt's very common so it's not like that should, that's got me over the hundred thousand and we got the salt and I think it's gonna go back outside and I think it's just gonna got the chlorine in here that can go in the exosuit and I think it's time to pick this up because once I've got that uh, advanced mining laser, we're going to be pushing off and going somewhere else. Okay, let's just pick this up and sell the item. Then we can get another 21,000 from that and 36,000 from the there. And I think we're looking good. We've got sodium nitrate, got a bit of sodium. Oxygen's getting a bit low. And actually, j just to demonstrate what I was talking about, this back out again let's shop that out here ah, I do this put that in there you can see we can turn this into sodium and while that's going hopefully we should now be able to get the but uh, not the advanced binding template what do I need I need two uh, wiring looms that's 118,000 we're just gonna pop that actually I think I'm just going to cheat a bit with the thematic seal as well. And do I can't remember what the final ingredient was for the? And um, we need one nanotube, and uh, looks like I need to top this up. So we're just going to drop the phosphorus in. And 
Whoops. And just to show you, put that there. And that can go to the exosuit. Actually, while I'm at it, how much carbon have I got? You got enough. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pick this up. I want to. I want to keep condensed carbon in the advanced ones, but but this level sometimes what you actually need to do is keep some of the base materials around in case you actually need something. And see if we can make the nanotube. Yes, thank you. And I think we're just going to drop the. So we can pneumatic seal in the wiring loom and that and that now gives me the advanced mining laser I don't think I can get anything else can I let's have a quick check blueprints I mean I've got the uh, nanites for the personal defense shield waveform recycler hazard detection can't use that Shield lattice hazard protection plus twenty percent, but we haven't got the antimatter for that. And we're going to find more of these. Um, actually, I like that personal defense shield or personal force field. So we're just going to come here, and we've got enough for. No, we've bought all the wiring looms. Hey, thank you, game. Never mind. So we've now got the technology rec recorded to catalogue. And just going to pop up that. Definitely going to have to focus on getting some oxygen. Uh, let me just have a quick look. Yeah, we can make the. Well, we're going to make a couple of these as a backup just in case. I'm not too sure why I'm still carrying the PCM around, but never mind. And. I've got no idea how long this video is going to last. What I'm going to do is just to wind this video up, we're going to now push off and try and explore. Um, just have a quick look. Technology. We've got this here. We've got the oxygen recycler. Let's just put that in. Okay, well that installed automatically. And the other thing is we need chromic metal for the hazmat gloves and I'm not going to be able to get that on the planet because I don't. Okay, so I've been drifting across the planet watching that. Is this another one or have I come back to where I was before? Well, let's just check this out. <laughs> I think we've already been here. I think I've just flown in a circle. Uh, Oh, great. <laughs> Trouble is, this is going to be 1.3 million. And... Um, well, it looks like we found uh, another base of 1.3 million. Now, I'm, I'm tempted to spend a long time trying to raise 1.3 million, but without the ability to gain the extra stuff getting 1.3 million will be a little bit of a challenge unless I can really mine out some stuff here um, and it's also it's going to be a bit annoying the fact that I've just put the, the advanced mining laser in here as well anyway, I think just to wind this up I'm just going to go and have a give, bit of a run around here and see what we got. Chromic metal, yep, yeah, can't do anything about that. Um, okay, terminal online. Yeah, let's get a load of word, thank you. And well small contribution towards that 1.3 million. And we got some more nanites. And 
Well, we got humming sax over there. Mm. We've got a bit of. I suppose 1.3 million is possible. Is it? Could I make 1.3 million to get that <laughs> that uh, multi tool? I suppose if I could grind it out, but uh, maybe I need just need to think about it. So, I'm just gonna have the Albion pearls. Wow! I thought they'd fix that light flare. Any more around here? There's some more over there. Anyway, guys, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. hope you enjoyed the video. hope you found it interesting. Any opinions on working to get that multi-tool? Multi Feel free to chuck it in the comments. Um, I'm, I'm going to be open to possibly doing the grind, but what I might do is a little bit of it off camera just to uh, kind of get try and move the Let's Play forward. But this is where I'm going to leave it. hope you enjoyed the episode. hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, Enjoy your gaming.